the next we, have, we will have a discussion on the relevance of the uh, World Health Organization Arts and Health Report and the key policy considerations within the Finnish context. So I, I will invite uh, Director Taru Koivisto and uh, Director General Rita Kaivasoja to join me here um, around the table. Uh, Taru Koivisto uh, is from Department for Wellbeing and Services of Ministry of Social Affairs and Health, Finland. And Rita Kaivasoja is from Department for Art and Cultural Policy, Ministry of Education and Culture, Finland. So welcome. Well, after hearing and reading uh, more about the WHO Arts and Health Report, what do you consider is the relevance of the report and the key policy considerations in the Finnish context? Could you please, read the start? Oh, thank you. Thank you. First of all, I would like to thank the writers, the authors, Daisy Fankurt and Savor Finn for the fine report. And I think it's most valuable to get that kind of report where there are so many aspects. And, and I think... Uh, much to think for all the actors as well from the administration uh, to local actors actually and what is the importance of the report for for finland and as, uh, especially i think the minister of education and culture is that now we get the whole picture of, of, of what has happened and what is the relevance and also what are the results of, of many research, uh, research. And that's most valuable because we have worked in Finland quite a long time nationally, but now we get in a way in international context to the phenomenon. So I feel it uh, most important. And there were also wonderful examples from Finland, so we can be proud of ourselves. Taru. Yes, uh, I also want to thank WHO and our writers of the report, because now we have evidence uh, on this area, which is really necessary. Um, actually, we have had uh, a lot of experience already in Finland, and also uh, good uh, mechanisms and models which we have uh, implemented here. But it's uh, scattering and it's not uh, so widely used. Um, and actually, uh, I think uh, one of the problems uh, we have had is, is that this um, uh, knowledge about this method is not so well uh, known. And uh, now when we have this evidence, it's easier to, to have uh, this approach uh, promoted. And, and especially in the area of, of health, the health professionals are very much uh, keen on um, having research as a basis what we are doing. And because of that, it's really, really important. Uh, what um, I think uh, is uh, good... Uh, to take up is the multi-sectoral approach, which we in Finland uh, have a long tradition. And arts, there is one of the aspects which is very good, but now we have more information about what to, what to do. Um, as um, Rita Kai was already mentioned, we have done much uh, in, in Finland, uh, and especially I want to, in the beginning, take up the role of the municipalities as a multi-sectoral um, uh, arena, there, there are so much opportunities to work together, culture, social health care services, etc. And uh, one aspect which uh, also this report takes up is very highly on, on our political agenda just now is equity question. So we can use also arts uh, and culture to, to promote equity in health and well-being. So there's a lot of... Uh, very useful uh, data and very, very useful evidence which we now have in, in hand and, and it makes for us uh, easier to implement uh, this uh, in practice. Thank you. Uh, Rita Kaivasoja, recognizing the added health value of engagement with the arts, as noted in the report, how can the Ministry of Education and Culture encourage arts and cultural organizations to make health and well-being an integral and strategic part of their work. Yes, thank you. As uh, Taruko has already mentioned, it is the data and knowledge about uh, 
uh, about uh, the arts uh, possibilities to uh, healthcare and and social welfare. Of course, one of the key things the the ministry can do. Uh, then we have, uh, of course, state subsidies. Uh, it is our uh, arts promoting uh, center who uh, grants the uh, state subsidies. They can help a little. It is a little help for the actors, the municipalities, the associations, and so on. And then um, I think one thing is the, in a way, the way how we cooperate and collaborate with the Minister of uh, social wel uh, welfare and health, because I think it's also a question of different cultures. Because we think, uh, if we think the culture of uh, culture organizations, it is it, the culture may be quite different for culture of healthcare and social uh, care institutions, and so there have to be much collaboration, discussing uh, and, and negotiating so that you can find a way to collaborate together uh, in, in, on the municipal level, on regional level, and especially now when we are targeting to the, to the reform of social care and healthcare system, how to f find the path to, to really uh, find the uh, tools to, to, to change the situation even better in Finland. Thank you, Riitta. And what about Taru Koivisto? Um, how can the Ministry of Social Affairs and Health encourage uh, social and healthcare organizations to make arts and culture an integral and strategic part of their work? So that's a really good question. So there are different approaches. Uh, for example, by making arts and culture available in, in the institutions and, and in, in the services, so that uh, it's a possibility to, to promote health and well-being of, of people. And uh, another is to take uh, care of that also uh, in, in, the, in the care, the treatment. Uh, all the methods which we have in place are taken there, because these are not so well known, not yet. And uh, what is just now going on for, for a long time is our reform of the social health care services. And there is also an opportunity to take this approach, to have a multi-sectoral approach, to, to have uh, different uh, sectors work together for, for the uh, health and, and well-being of, of people. So that's, uh, it's a challenge, of course, but it's an, also an opportunity because the reform uh, I really hope that it's going to happen. And at and, and that time, uh, we need to have the structures and mechanisms, how the different sectors work together. But this is an opportunity now. We have now more data to, to provide and, and, and support this kind of, of uh, approach. Thank you. I think most of us uh, think that uh, collaboration between these two minist ministers, uh, ministries has been enhanced quite a lot during 10 years. But um, what are the concrete next steps to strengthen the cross-sectoral uh, cross collaboration in reference to art, arts and health field in Finland? Well, I think we need structures, just as uh, Taru said, because we can uh, improve the situation, enhance a uh, project, but we need solid structures. And we have had the... Uh, uh, working group, there are the ministries involved, but also agencies and municipalities and regional ad administration and associations and professionals and researchers. We need, I think, that kind of structures and we should build a new working group, absolutely. But then we need, of course, also money and, and there could be possibilities uh, during the... Um, a preparation of the new system, the new the reform reform for uh, health and social care. How to find uh, tools to the structures of social uh, and healthcare system, and th th those funds there, and also municipalities, because uh, you know that the um, budget of culture is is uh, very small, and and it is not. Um, 
it solution to try to find uh, uh, money from that budget it's not possible uh, even uh, and especially now when it seems that um, the lottery funds and, and lottery money are going to go uh, uh, not upwards but but downwards so we need some structures and we should think that uh, uh, that the quality of social welfare and, and, and uh, services and health uh, care services is better if the arts are included in, in those services. And, and that is a major task. And also I think that it is no, not only that we think that how artists can provide well-being, we have to think also how we can bring well-being to artists. So they need salary for their work and so we need structures, solid structures, not only some uh, uh, things which last only a couple of months or two years, but, but long-lasting structures are essential, I think. And what about you, Taruko? What are the next steps, you think? Um, I think we have now a lot of uh, evidence and also a lot of experience uh, of good uh, working efforts uh, from Finland and from other countries. So um, I think it's now essential to, to implement these good examples and, and uh, good experiences, not just uh, try to find new ones. So. Uh, these good examples from Finland, we should uh, share these with other, other uh, areas, other municipalities and uh, support that kind of uh, approach. Uh, we have had a lot of um, uh, separate projects, as uh, Rita mentioned, so, uh, and all these uh, should be now used as a basis. Uh, while, as I mentioned, we are now reforming our health and social uh, services, so to take these uh, in, in use. and. Um, of course, we need more information still about the economic aspect, for example, which is really necessary. I think we have to take this up also and, uh, and try to evaluate what are the effects of, of different kind of activities. But um, once again, I take up the multi-sectoral approach, the cooperation which we need to have with different sectors and uh, create there, as Rita also said, different kind of networks and structures and mechanisms how to work together so that we can use the knowledge and experience of, of uh, sector and culture in, in social and healthcare and, and vice versa. So to find ways how to work in, uh, in, in practice. And one very practical issue is that now we have a, a report, uh, we should use that. And uh, we would like to uh, translate some of parts of that to, to Finnish language so that it could be useful also. We could use it for our politicians and, and, and um, so that it's not just professionals which use it, but have uh, main parts of that translated. Of course, it's up to the WHO and the writers if they give us a permission for that. But yeah, I, I see that there will be a permission, I so, hope so. So that we could use that. Um, because now we have the evidence. Thank you. That sounds really important to have, have, have also this knowledge in, in, in Finnish language. Um, at some point you have answered to this, uh, my question, but I, I still, uh, still want to uh, ask it um, to be, uh, to be more, more precise. So uh, how can the two ministries together carry on the good work and facilitate the procurement and entrenchment what of art and culture services in the uh, social and healthcare system? Yes, well, I think we have done already something. We wrote together with the Ministry of uh, with the ministries, uh, the recommendations for municipalities and, and regions at the beginning of this year. And we wanted, uh, we proposed there that there should be a, a civil servant or official in municipalities or in the regions administration to take care of these questions. You may think that it is very administrative uh, 
thing, but I think it's not because we have very different municipalities in Finland. We have a bigger one and smaller one, and there should be somebody who is taking care of these uh, targets and, 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 and put the targets to the municipalities and, and the regional administration. And if we set the targets so we can evaluate them later on. And that is why, that is how it could go forward. O of course, also the financing uh, picture is, is most important research, of course. And then we have a new legislation. It is in English, the, it's in Finland, it's kunt uh, Laki Kuntien Kulttuuritoiminnasta. In, 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 in English, it is a, a new act on the municipality provision of cultural activities. And it lays down provisions on the municipality's duty to promote the arts and culture as part of residents' health and well-being, inclusion and community and engagement. And that is most important because we are going to monitor it by a national survey, TIA Visari, every two years. And of course, there is also in the new pro, uh, in the program, the new government, there is the targets for accessibility to culture for everybody and those big targets. So we should uh, uh, more and more think the big picture and how we can answer to the targets of the, of the governmental program. So it's easy to continue after Rita, uh, uh, who mentioned the so-called TEA Visari, which is a unique uh, information base in, in Finland. Uh, it has uh, previously uh, uh, included data on the activities of municipalities on several areas of promotion of well-being and health. There have been uh, physical activity and uh, management of, of uh, the municipalities and uh, and uh, schools, etc. But now the new area is now the arts and culture. Uh, the first uh, uh, collection of data was done, as Rita said, just this year. And now we have a picture about the situation. What, what's the role uh, and, and what are the activities of municipalities and what are the differences between municipalities? So we know where are the needs for development. And that will be used in, in the future uh, as a basis for, for, for development. Um, and legislation I want to also mention, uh, mention because um, there are uh, these uh, sectoral uh, uh, laws which uh, provide the basis also for, for this kind of uh, cooperation. Uh, in municipalities, uh, uh, they have been in Finland by law uh, 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 obliged to, to follow a monitor of the health and well-being of inhabitants for about now almost 10 years and uh, also work together with different sectors and work together with NGOs. And uh, one uh, aspect where um, the multi-sector approach, which is included in the law, is to have, a, for example, uh, uh, cultural and, and social healthcare services to work together. So that creates a unique opportunity. And I know there are not many countries in the world which have such kind of legislation as a basis for promotion of well-being and health. So we should use all these opportunities and, and basis to create also um, the um, necessary structures and, and working methods for, for uh, this area as well. And maybe we could also, or Finland could also take an international role in arts and health field. Like uh, we are going to be the uh, chairing Nordic uh, Council of Ministers uh, 21. So is that an opportunity or what, can, what could we do? Absolutely. I think the well-being is a common, common task for us all. But uh, if I'm honest, I have to say but that just now we are so full with our EU presidency questions because the Council of Ministers of, of Culture will be within two weeks and, and, and actually uh, we, are, we are so hands full of EU presidents just now it is the high season of EU questions as well as there is a structural fund 
uh, negotiation or create the Europe program and trilogue, trilogue is with, with the parliament just going on. But after this month, I think we will, we will go down to, to, to the next presidency we will have and it will be the Nordic, Nordic uh, uh, Council uh, presidency and, and that will be most important as well. Uh, yes, the EU presidency has taken rather much time, but we have been happy to have a, uh, on social and healthcare field the priority theme, the economy of well-being, uh, which uh, also supports this kind of approach. So uh, we have tried to, to take up the approach to have economic aspects and well-being uh, policies uh, on the same level, so that we are not thinking about separating money and then about the well-being and, and health and social services, which usually is just uh, for it could be just the cost, but to take this a balanced approach uh, so that these both support each other and need each other. So, in a way, we have already done uh, rather much to, to promote this kind of approach. And about the international aspect, I want to take up also WHO's role. Uh, Finland has been rather active there for a long time, and so I'm quite sure we are going to support this arts and culture also uh, to be one of the priorities there. Uh, Finland is just now also a member of the uh, WHO executive board, and because of that we have a good opportunity to, to uh, have this also on a global level. So really I, I'm quite sure that our uh, experience but also uh, what WHO is doing uh, is something which we can um, yeah, work together. Thank you so much, Rita Kaivosoja and Taru Koivisto. Next, we will hear a bit more about uh, social prescribing 